Hello everyone, welcome to Stoneheart Me Pantos. We're back here with our Kingdoms and Castles inspired town. And uh, something I would like to do today is to build like a stock panel where we'll be storing a lot of like wooden crafted stuff we have done. So that is what I want to do when I get some of that. Uh, another thing that we might be doing on our very own and trying to do the same style later on would be to make a house for like the carpenter. They do have like a mason in Kingdom and Castles. But they don't have an uh, mason, so I think I will get my own inspiration once we do that. But today I really feel like a stockpile would be really, really useful to do. And uh, the stockpiles in Kingdoms of Castles is pretty, pretty simple to do. But just before we do that, I'm gonna head down to the mountain. So we will be building this little platform where we will be mining a little bit later on. And I'm gonna do something similar here. I think we'll dig a little bit first. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to gather this iron. Which is going to be really, really useful once we are going to start to work with our blacksmith. But we need to gather some copper because that's like the first thing we will need to get to even make the blacksmith hammer. So that's something I really want to get as well. And we might be getting a little bit once uh, we go in here. You always find a little bit of uh, random copper and all the different ores when you go in. So these chests that I put in the last episode, those I also want to configure. So these ones, I want to have stone, I want to have some ores in them. So everything we mine here is going to go into these ones, and then we're just going to carry these over. All the way to our beautiful town over here, and we're going to drop them off, and they're going to be really useful and really easy to get all the way over here. So for the moment, the only thing we're really building for right now is the bit of road. Don't see anyone doing it at the moment though, so let's take a little bit of a look here. So we only have one for building. I'm going to put the back... Um, let's get them all for building for now. So hopefully we see some of them building again. So Mika is going to be building. And I'm going to be naming some people today. So Mika here, we're going to name her. So this is going to be Bearman. Welcome Bearman. Hope we get an awesome time here. And then we're also going to name one more person we have here. So Sora Burly Hands. It's going to be named Night Sight. So welcome Night Sight, hope you get an amazing time here. We're gonna be most likely a soldier later, that's what you wanted to be. Daily update. Ah oh, awesome, we get another one to join. Helen Bao join. Let's check her out. Let's see what stats you got. 543, that's a pretty good one. A jokester as a trait. So that's pretty good. That could be like a pretty decent warrior. And also a pretty good crafter. But I'm gonna think we're probably gonna leave Helen as uh, what she is now, so she's gonna be a worker. Because we need a lot of workers to build and gather stuff. I see we have a few of uh, ladders up here. So we have to go up here so we can remove them. Because these lower appeal, so it should be good to get them away from there. Some more things I thought of doing was to go for the herbalist. And I want to go and make sure that we are crafting a few more things. Because I noticed that uh, we wasn't really getting any levels. We need to get level 2 to be able to make our cleric stone. Which uh, we're gonna promote our herbalist later on to be an Cleric, so we got a real heal going on because for the moment we only have two footmans, and uh, that doesn't work too good when we get a little bit of strong enemies, which shouldn't be too far away for us now. So we should really, really try to prepare for that. So we have a couple of different houses we can build now, and uh, it's kind of leaning towards for me for doing the tavern. It should be a fairly good build to do, and it will be a nice place. The comfy shares, I guess, those. We're gonna be able to do them, I guess. Why don't we go and build this one? We do have the stone for it, the wood though. Well, we have that as well. But it's gonna take quite a lot of wood to be crafting all of these different things. And I know one of you guys also asked about the sign. We used a mason sign for the tavern. The reason is that it actually added the wrong model for it. So they will be updating it soon. I made a bug report and it's gonna be fixed pretty, pretty soon. So that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so let's see. Let's remove a few ladders. I don't wanna have them here. And this one could go now, we don't need that anymore. A royal Herald approaches. How dare is this new settlement of Goldmore? Messiah Burlyhands said you'd be out here, but it's almost a bit of touch and go in the early days. Shall we get started with the proclamation? That is us, by order of Princess Dana, first lady of the Ascendancy. And whose demands you settle and with the blessing of the Church of Plenty, in those wisdom we all prosper. Wow! All settlements that attain local renown will be hereby recognized as an official ascendancy townships, with rights, privilege, and rewards therefore. 
Rewards, indeed, by the Princess Order, little but towns that have proven their worth. Shall win access to architectural, learning and welfare caravans for trade. You may gain sufficient renown to advance a township in any of these three ways. Got military glory, favor for the church, or the approval of the craft masters, which sounds the most interesting for you. So we don't really have to go for the one click here, but it's pretty interesting. But uh, I think we're gonna... Let's try to do the craft master. I haven't really done it yet, it would be awesome to do. The Royal Craftmasters honor those in an eye for excellence. Have your mason create a statue of the exact specification and you shall be one of the few to impress them. Mason who? Excellent! In addition to an appropriate monument, your town will also need to have accumulated a certain level of worth. I should leave the requirement with you, should you wish to consult with them again, or you should select a different path, come to appeal more than your initial chosen road. Thanks, milady! Since be bound to be upon you, Goldmore, I shall leave you a bird. You may summon me to evaluate your progress. Farewell. Okay, so we got a couple of things going on here. We got a trader to return. Four wooden window frames, and he gave us four curtains. We can accept that. And we're also getting attacked right now by some invaders, so let's check them out. Okay, a little bit of stony, so that should be pretty easy. Let's get our troop ready. Let's get some banter ready. And soon. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's smash them down. Awesome. And I hope you all had a good, good Christmas. So I'm just back a little bit now, then I will be gone until the new year, and then I will come back again. So I got um, some pretty nice presents. Right now I'm just using one of them, which is uh, the Logitech G400 gaming mouse, for G400 free, which is really, really awesome. There's like a wireless version of it as well. And that would be awesome to have, but this is the wired one, and I really, really like it so far. So feel free to check out that if you're interested in, in a pretty good gaming mouse, but it's always hard with gaming mouses because it has to fit your hand. So it's not so easy to just say, this fits good for me, it's so it fits good for you. Okay, so let's take a look around a bit, what are these guys talking about? Get back to work, Nightside and Lilithia. Talking about some rotten stuff. Run and stuff? Oh, I hate that. And you're happy about it. <laughs> I hate that run and stuff, but I'm still happy. Okay, let's um, let's chop down a few trees. I think we will need some new wood pretty, pretty soon. A goblin with a fancy hat swags to town. Haha, <laughs> you're the new kid in the great red territory. This means me less new kid. Take your lunch. Lunch metaphor. You make for us or else. So we want 45 oak log and 500 stones. So this is a little bit of a harder thing that I said that's gonna be happening now. We're gonna decline it, so we will be have to fighting him. You know where I understand? Alternative death, death. Okay, so we're gonna fight him. I think we might perhaps need to promote one. So I'm gonna promote Nightside already to be a war. Okay, I don't have the sword. Would like to promote her. They have some quite uh, dangerous troops to send out to us, and uh, looks like they're sending weaklings now. So we should be fairly fairly safe, but we do have some maybe some works up here. They're taking this path, so they have quite a long way to run. There's a pretty cool big zombie out here. Might want to go and grab this treasure, would be awesome. Okay, so let's go for the carpenter. Let's make a few swords. Yeah, have a few extra ones, doesn't hurt. So let's move them to the top. Like so, there we go. Should be awesome. So I was thinking also maybe a trapper, that would be awesome to have. We still have to do a little bit of things before we can get it. So we have to have enough stone and then we need to put out the amazing pedestal. And I didn't see that we had it crafted. So I'm just gonna put to make a new one. We need to get a lot of stone to be able to make this though. And the potter's cutter shouldn't be too far away to do that. Then we can start to actually make these houses, our cottages. Which is gonna be really awesome. So we can start like get a real town going on. I think after this house we maybe will do the windmill. That should be a fairly, fairly, fairly quick build. Okay, let's get our troops ready. Get ready to prepare to defend ourselves and gold more. You can get him boys, get him! Smash their heads in. With the green skin fly away. So we're doing pretty good. Bounce got level 3, power spike. That's awesome, really good ability. Chasing after this little poor little goblin, Bayan. Get him! Awesome. There's some more here, not sure what to do, and he's standing around pretty much. 
Guess, I guess we can give them our rotten crops. That wouldn't hurt us too much to give them a few of those. Okay, let's take a little bit of a look. While they're fighting here, I want to go into and prepare a little bit because we need to make some confishers, right? So this one. So to make this one, we also need to have a cloth, which our weaver is doing. Let's see here, can we kill the last goblin? Get him away. There we go, there we go. Okay, so let's check out with um, the weaver. See what's going on here. Place a spinning wheel. I never placed that, I guess. So we do have uh, this thing here. But we haven't put out these ones. I thought I had them out, but I guess I didn't. So now we should be able to make thread and everything. So he's currently making some wall mounted tapestry, Mr. Barry. And those are really, really good for trading with the merchant. They are really, really worth. Why do my harfling love to get stuck up there? Poor little girl, little night side getting stuck. Date update, another one joins. Virene, that's awesome. Get a lot of more people for you guys to be able to get a name for it. And if you have name suggestions, always drop them in the comments. I select randomly through a website who gets to join. So all of you guys have the same amount of fair chance to be able to get to join this place. Okay, let's check a little bit with the... Oh, we can make the book. We already made it. Awesome. So the Herbalist, we can promote Ellen here to be our cleric. That's gonna be awesome. Then so she can run over and heal Mr. Banto and Mr. Sibutis as well. It's gonna be awesome. Come on, Ellen, heal him. That's so awesome. Like when you get a cleric, that's like when you can feel a lot more safer once you get that. Like the herbalist helps a little bit, but uh, the cleric is way better with healing. Like it should be. Okay, let's see here. We do have one stone, 27 wood. So we're definitely gonna need more wood. And let's see what people are doing. I'm not really sure what my people are busy with for the moment. Okay, there are a lot of people building. We have a lot more workers now, so we can have... Let's have maybe three or four people building. Let's go for two of them. Two building, and all the other ones is gonna go around and gather whatever stuff. Chop some wood so our builders can focus fully on building things. Uh, I guess one thing we can actually do that perhaps might help is to take for now take two stone chests we drop them here and in these two we will be putting building materials, a wooden stone so we're gonna move that around like when we're building new buildings we just move those two boxes around and hopefully that will let them be able to like build a little bit faster hopefully so wood in this one and the other one is gonna be only stone there we go, that should be awesome. I guess we could perhaps go for stone and construction. I feel like it's mostly wood and stone that's important, so they don't have to run as much. That should help out a lot. But let's see here, we need to mine more. I might want to have two people, or one or two, that only do mining for a bit. So these two are only going to do mining and talking with people, I guess. So let's uh, see here, how much was we going to dig here? So going in a bit here, we're gonna go a little bit further on this one. And let's get a little bit ladder for them, like that. Two of them. So meanwhile they're busy mining a bit, I think we will go and uh, design our little stockpile, which I'm gonna put at least here for now. It should be a really, really simple build. So I wanna do some stone under this, just yes, like we have for... Let's see, I think it was one of these houses. Oh yeah, it was this one. Our granary has this thing as well. So let's see how big we're gonna do this. Do it like that, and then we're gonna have... Let's see how far between we wanna have this. Try like that first. Is this gonna be a little bit bigger than I was thinking first, but I think it's gonna be pretty fine anyway. So then we're going to start with making this thing. It's going to go all the way around here. Then one of the sides is going to have a little stair to get up to this. So I think we could do it like here in the middle. We can do it in a different color. So maybe we can have it so it goes up like that. Like so that should be good. 
And for the inside here, let's see what kind of color we want to go for. Might go for this one. That should be fairly good. Then we'll make a little, little roofing here. So we're gonna have that in the back and see how big we want to do this. So maybe like that should be pretty good. So it's gonna be very, 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 very simple. Then we're gonna have a little beam. I think I will uh, choose a different color for it though. Slightly different, just so it uh, pops out a little bit. Like that, should be good. And then we're gonna have some beams, it's gonna go here as well. Like so, and uh, then I guess we'll put some crates and stuff under this. And on here, I'm not sure if we're gonna put boxes or if we're gonna... If we're gonna just make it stockpiles and drop on them, we'll see. Once we get there. Is so it then we wanna make this thing, like normal roofs, but then we're just gonna remove few parts when we done this. So we remove it like that, so we get some holes here. Like so, and then we're gonna drop a nice roof on this. Which I think this would be probably a pretty nice color. So together with this one. I might wanna go for a little bit more of a brownish one. Ah, let's go for this one, should work out pretty good. So do it like that, and maybe, maybe, maybe we will also do so this thing. Actually goes up like that. It's kind of how this in the game Kingdoms and Castles, so... I think it should do good for us. So that should be quite nice, and uh, I guess we can pop in some... Just some random color variation here, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Okay, that should do pretty good, and uh, then I'm just gonna drop here. Go like that, and maybe as maybe, I'm sure, we'll see. We might do things so it goes out one step like that. That looks pretty interesting. So let's do the same for this side. Like that, that should be pretty nice. And uh, let's see what we can put on here. How it would be a bit, some different chests. So maybe we can have some bigger normal chests under this. And uh, we can also drag out some stockpiles, but I think I will put a few chests here. It just feels like it's gonna be pretty good a mix between, I guess, stone hearth and uh, kingdoms and castles. Because the hearthlings don't like when stockpile is just spread out, when there's like stuff on the ground like this, which we can see with this tool if we see here. So the peel is lower, minus. Which is not too good. They do love it on the farm though, look at that. Awesome. We can do some leather bound chests also, they, they really like those, so... Let's perhaps put out a few of those. Looks like I accidentally put one on the ground. <laughs> okay, let's throw some here, one on, one on each side maybe. So on this one we're not gonna have food. The food will be the granner and the stockpile will be... Most other stuff pretty much. So I think we can do it like that, so that will be like the basic stockpile if we want to add some more stuff to it. That's something we can do later on. But I think this is gonna be pretty, pretty nice. And I think we were getting attacked, so let's check it out. Get some invaders up here in the mountains. Okay, there's some slow undead ones. So run back to town, my little halflings. Should be able to run away from them. As long as we don't get any hard-headed halfling that want to do a little bit of battle. A courageous little halfling. Okay, it's Banto and his troops on his way. Oh, we're getting a goblin raiding party at the very same time. Uh, I guess we could take the goblins first. They're quite a bit slower than the undead ones. Zombies don't move that fast. So amazing to have a little healer helping out. So much better, so much easier. I hope we can get a blacksmith pretty soon as well. I'm just gonna have to go for the, for the goblins fully now. But once we get a blacksmith, we will get some better equipment. We're also gonna try to get it pretty soon also with... Um, a weaver, because we can make some basic um, armor at least. This guy is just standing around, now I realize he should be running away. You're pretty screwed now, Mr. Goblin. Let's go for this last little fellow. Maybe I should try to keep my people back a bit, I don't know. I'm 
probably gonna move this, by the way. Move it to a different place. It's too close to the granary, I think. Okay, let's see. The goblin should be dead. Then we should head for these. Let's go for the undead, now that the summons is dead. I think I've never seen one of these guys. Andwin, is that the guy from World of Warcraft? Let's go for him. I've never seen a, seen a bearded zombie before, so that's a new thing for me. Ah, uh, this skeleton should be the hardest one. And we might get his cool little weapon there. That would be awesome if we can get his blade. Well, how about quite a lot? Another one join! LN level 2 cleric, awesome. Selvan Preston joined. Can okay, we gonna check it out right after this battle? These guys were pretty tough. Maybe we need a third soldier soon. We should try to get a third one soon. Because then we can promote a third one to be a knight at a later point. Okay, Selvan Preston, welcome to our town. Got six mind, six spirit, and one in body. So this could be this could be a really, really good healer. It's good to have more body because your healer will have more health. But the thing is that Sick Spirit is really, really good for healing. A high Spirit Halfling will easily befriend animals, stand strong against enemies, and craft exceptional things more often. Influences Courage, Willpower, and Compassion, and the Mind one is really good as well. A high mind stat allows a Halfling to quickly grasp mental activities such as crafting and keep their head clear. And this influences Dilendians and Curiosity. So these are really good if we're going to go for a healer, and I might actually promote Selva now directly to actually be another new herbalist. Since we don't have any of them, I really miss having have like a recruit button here. To uh, I really miss to have one to assign a Harfling to a specific profession down here. It's a little bit clumsy to have to go into this menu. It works, but it's a little bit weird. So let's see here. Then we're going to put him to be a herbalist. Rufus Garrow is here. Might want to buy some stone if we can afford it. Let's see, we do have some tapestries. So this is the one I wanted to craft before. They're really good for appeal, but they're also really good for selling. So, 32 gold each. 10 of those would be 320 gold. So that's really awesome. So now we can buy some stone if you're selling. Awesome, they do sell some stone. So that will save us a lot of time, and I'm also going to sell a little bit of copper, and buy a little bit of copper. So that will probably also save us a little bit of time, so we don't have to mine, we can focus on like, building houses and do not work. So trading is really, really, really useful. Selvan level 1, awesome. And we should maybe put a little bit more work to him. Get that in to make a few more healings, and also can make some bandages later on. And some energy tonic, that speed up our people, it should be good. Everyone get faster, soldiers, halfling, worker, everyone. That should be really, really good. But let's see here for this one. Maybe I want to put it just at the other side. Maybe over here. Let's maybe have it over here. That would be also close to our masons. I think that would be a pretty good spot for it. So here is where we're going to drop it down. Deer should be pretty good. So then we remove this one. And I'm probably gonna have to like remove these pretty pretty soon so we can get our plans going. So now we're good on both the stone and the wood side. We might want to get a little bit more wood though. Have some big trees here that should give a lot of useful, useful wood for us. Get a little bit of wind nest. Maybe go for this zombie over here. Let's go take him out. Poor little zombie. Let's see, do we get to equip any blade? I don't see an equipped blade yet. So, I think I did put to make some armor with Weaver. Because we need level 3 for that one, level 3 for the head, okay. So we have to do a little bit more stuff and we need to gather a little bit more fiber so we can craft those things. You're getting it now, Mr. Zombie! You're getting it down. I'm gonna take your treasure, mwahaha. That's gonna be mine. Oh wow, a level 5 carpenter. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Silver, silver, bronze and silver. And they're quite happy about that battle. Banto looks really proud. That's awesome. But guys, this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart for me, Banto. So a quick visit just before I go away for the new year again. 
So I'm gonna go away tomorrow and then I will be back again. Just before the new year I will be back again and uh, you should see new videos sometimes early next year. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. So hope all you ha guys had a Merry Merry Christmas, ate good food, was with good people and got a lot of nice cool presents. And hope you all are gonna have a happy happy new year if I don't hear from you or you hear from me until then. So thanks for watching today. Subscribe for more, like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So have a great, great new year, and take care, guys.